Now to McCurtain County. This weekend is the annual Dogwood Days Festival in Oklahoma. NBC 600 Trombetta joins us now live from Idabel explaining why this festival will be extra special. Hi Hunter. Good evening Dan and Jackie. For the past 35 years the Dogwood Days Festival has been held here in Idabel. But since there just happens to be a total solar eclipse coming, they have decided to expand the event this year. We get approximately 25 to 50 calls a day from Oklahoma City, Kansas, Nebraska, or Arizona wanting to come in. It's huge. I did not expect people from California flying in and then coming to Little Idabel, Oklahoma. The annual Dogwood Days Festival kicks off Friday in Idabel. It's normally just a one day event. However, this year with the eclipse falling on Monday, we've expanded the festival. Some of the events include a Miss Eclipse pageant on Friday, a 5K and pancake breakfast on Saturday, and even church service on Sunday plus a cornhole tournament and jelly war. It's like a paint blow up paintball arena. That's actually going to be right out here. So I'm pretty excited. There will also be local vendors and food trucks. We've got some coffee trucks and barbecue trucks, uh, hamburger trucks. We've got, you name it, we got it. Though they still plan to welcome visitors and will still have food trucks set up, the festival will not extend to the day of the eclipse. It's already going to be crazy busy and we do not want to overload our law enforcement officers. You're talking about maybe 25, 30,000 folks coming into a city this size that we never experienced this before. Officials believe they are prepared to ensure everyone can feel safe. But we have our, pol our local officers, we have support from the state as the uh, state troopers will be in. We have extra state troopers coming in. We will have a crew here in Idabel for our one hour eclipse coverage special that begins at one on Monday, April the 8th. For now, reporting live in Idabel, Hunter Trombetta, NBC6 News. We have a lot of fun things planned. Thank you so much, Hunter.